All right, guys, I had some viewers that asked me if I would talk about car safes. I did a video on the gun magnets, and I talked about putting a gun in a safe when you leave the car or on your person and never leave it on the magnet or just loose in the car. So I had some viewers that said, well, what is your opinion on car safes? And guys, to be honest with you, this is my favorite safe on the market. And I may not have seen everything out there, but I've sure have done some research on a lot of the popular ones. And I'm going to tell you why this is my favorite, most trusted car safe on the market. I'm going to show you examples of guns inside. I'm going to show you how it locks into the car, uh, the shackle that it has, the arm lock, they call it. And we're going to try different guns in here. I have not tried a Desert Eagle. We're going to see if a Desert Eagle fits. We're going to try two full-size guns, and then we're going to try guns with uh, lights and lasers on the rail that are full-size, and we'll just go from there. So let's start off uh, by letting you guys know why I think this safe is so secure. And now, as with anything, guys, things can be broken into, and things can be worked around to get into things like this. That's not what this is about. 9.9 .9 times out of 10, a thief getting into your car is smash and grab quick. Especially if you're in a crowded parking lot. A thief has seconds to get in there and grab something out because number one, they don't know who the people are that's coming in and out of the parking lot and out of the store. Say you're at a Walmart. They have no idea who's coming, who owns that car. So if there's people walking up the lot, he's looking over his shoulder thinking, I got to get grab, grab whatever's loose, grab the change, grab whatever's in the console, the sunglasses, I got to get. And I think this is a very secure safe, though. I, this, this beat my expectations, this safe here. And I'm going to give you some reasons why. Right now, as you can see, what I have in here is I have a Glock 17 Gen 4 and I have two extra mags, which fit with no problem. But I'm going to give you a lot of different examples of things that uh, we can put in here and, you know, what you can use. First of all, let me tell you how this hooks into your car. So I'm in the car here. This is just one example I wanted to show you. Uh, this is my Honda. And basically this is the passenger seat here. There's the gear shift. And here's the safe locked onto that steel bar. And I just want to give you an example of what I had, how I had this. This is from going into the gym because there's certain things I'll have on me in, in the gym and there's certain things that I uh, will not have when I'm in the gym. So I'm still kind of getting used to this, guys. But the lock is getting smoother and smoother um, as I use it. It was a little bit sticky at first. Now it's great. But I'm just going to show you guys how I had this when I went into the gym. Uh, I'm still getting used to this and the ins and outs of using it and but basically what I had was I had my SOE gear wallet right here and I had my Glock 43 and then my G17 Gen 4. Now the one problem I found tonight um, you know it's trial and error when you use these things is I couldn't fit my extra mags in here. And yeah, I know one mag is unloaded, and I know that I haven't brought the ammo to load it yet. I was testing things out, and I had left the safe and the G17 in the car. Uh, I'm lucky enough to be into a garage every night, into a locked garage connected to my house. So uh, when I was testing things out, one of the mags was empty, and I have not yet filled it, but I have the same kind of ammo to go in there. So as you can see, um, it was very easily to put my Glock 43 in there. This You could take it out of the holster if you wanted. I just left it in there and you could do it, you know, lay it in there however you want. It's it This this foam has a lot of give to it and then you could put your wallet in there and it, as you can see it, right there it's touching. I'm not even putting any pressure really. It closes just fine. There's no issues there. So you have adequate room to put in here whatever you want is my point. So I'm very happy with it guys. I don't know yet exactly how I'm going to run it yet. Uh, just the way the seats are on the Honda, well, it's good in one way, but I have to make sure that it's going to be really, really secure, or I'm going to have to change change it out. Uh, it's hooked onto this steel bar, 
And in order for me to get it under the seat leg over here, which you can't really see, it's a very narrow spot to get under the seat leg, I would have to maybe uh, use like a piece of heavy gauge steel link chain and put through there a small piece, uh, padlock that, and then run the shank through the chain. But right now, I can't get this steel bar to give on the seat. So I think that that's holding pretty well. Um, I don't have any, really any issues there. I'm going to have to look at it more and get some light down here and see exactly what's holding the steel bar on. Uh, like I said, though, as far as from what I can see, this steel bar, I can't get it to flex. I can't get it to move, but I'm going to double check it. And if worst case scenario, I'll put a heavy gauge link steel chain around the seat leg in there and I'll bring it out, padlock it, and then put the shank through the center of the chain. So. There's a setup for right now, just giving you guys some examples of what you can do with this safe. You can put it around your car seat. Uh, diff there's different things you can do. And let me show you that and I'll tell you why I like it better than the cable. So what you do is you pull this up and there's a tab where that H is. This is a Hor Hornady arm lock box, arm lock safe is what this is called. So when you're doing a video, sometimes you forget to say things. So just bear with me guys. I'll try to remember everything that I need to tell you. So when you lock these two tabs up, this is only to set and adjust your arm lock mechanism, which is right here. Okay, so what you have here, I forget the thickness of steel, but they tell you if you look this box up, uh, just look it up on the internet. I'm not going to have links or anything, but there's a certain gauge of thickness to the steel, and I believe the steel gauge on here is 14 gauge, I believe. I could be mistaken on that. It's either 16 or 14. But you have this large steel shank that's very sturdy and very heavy duty. Okay? And then what you do is you put this in here and you adjust it however you need it. So if it's in your car and you need this much room uh, from the seat to the safe or you need this much room, you know, with this little space here, wherever you're putting it, you have adjustability for that. So what you would do is move the shank up or down like this. All these little holes are what locks in those tabs that from the inside. So all these little holes are adjustment holes. So when you pull this in or out like this, all you would do next is open the safe, twist these so they fall down. Now they'll only fall down a certain way. And then what happens is, is when you move this, it lines up to the next hole. It'll just line it up automatically and boom, you're locked in. Now I could have went all the way down to here. I could have went all the way down to here or I could have went up more to adjust it. So that's where it is. Uh, another thing is this is a very heavy safe. I like, I like it because it's very heavy duty. The weight is good and it just gives me a little bit more peace of mind. And I'm gonna talk about some of the other security features of this safe. I only seen like one video on YouTube. So I, I really was anxious to get a video out of this guy. And I'm going to let you know why I think it's such a great uh, safe for the car. I think it's one, for what it does and for what it's used for, I don't think you can get better than this on the market. And I, I seriously mean that, guys. Um, and, and I only paid like 40-some dollars for this when I bought it. So they're not expensive. They're under 50 bucks. You just get random guy on eBay. You can get it. Let me show you the locking system. Okay, so if a thief gets in, let's say he has the time and the tools or the time and a screwdriver. The first thing he's going to do is he's going to try to attack nearest this lock. As you can see, this lock is real far back. Most safes, the locks are down here right by the edge, and you got a little, you got a little uh, steel metal arm that moves back and forth like this. So what they try to do is they try to gouge a screwdriver in there and, and easily move or pop that lock. I've also seen where, where, the, where the ones that have a, a lock that's like a, just a little bar that turns, where people can put something in the, in the tube and just twist the whole thing and turn it and, you know, get it open. So what this has is it's called the, the tri-lock, triple locking system on it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it so that they come out and show you what that looks like. And like I said, guys, bear with me. We're going to show guns in there and what it can hold and what it, you know, all what it can do. So these are one inch wide steel locking lugs. Now, why is that such a good thing? Because another place for a pry attack would be 
somewhere here on the body. So if you see the lock here, you would want to come back here and pry. Well, even though this lock system is more on the front end, this is still going to stop somebody from prying open. Now, if you just had this lock here, if you just had this one on the front end, right here, and this were locked shut, right back here would be the fulcrum point of where you could get some leverage in there. Very heavy gauge steel, though, guys. I mean, this thing is, I, I, I'm, I'm impressed with it. So, let me uh, turn the bars back in, like that. Now, there's another thing I noticed about this safe that I really like. And it's probably not foolproof, but it definitely would help. And that is, is that it's anti-pry. As you can see here, there's an inner lip. When, this, when the lid closes down and seals onto the base, if you put anything in here, this is going to be tight, keep in mind. This is going to be tight, like this. There's almost no gap. I mean, I can't see a visible gap. I couldn't get a piece of paper anywhere around this box into this crack right here. So what the deal is, is when you see this lip right here that comes up, that's to block whatever you're putting through, for, uh, whatever you're putting through to pry. What you don't want is the tool to go between both lips and in here, okay? This will stop that because this is behind the edge and you can't get enough movement really to pry like that. Now, I'm sure if, you know, if you had enough tools and things, you know, you could do what you needed with this. Now, keep in mind, let's think logically about this. When this is in your car and the way it's hooked up, I find that it's very hard for anyone to get leverage. Sure, you could take this and put it on a workbench. Sure, I could take this here and flip it up and get a big mallet and boom, boom, you know, whatever, and see if I could get in there, and it probably would still take me quite a while. But when it's on my car and it's locked into the steel bar and, and there's no room to swing a hammer down where, the feet, down where your feet go on the passenger floorboard, there's no room to swing a hammer. You got all this, it's tight. You got the, the, the floor that goes up here, the dash, the consoles here, the safes right here. You would have a heck of a time uh, using tools on this and you can't turn it up like this. So you'd be hitting it like this and it just, it wouldn't make for an easy time to beat on this thing or to even use tools on it. You get my, you get my drift of what I'm saying there. It's sure, if you put this on a workbench, you can guide it and put it here and do your, you know, try to work on it and see if you could get in there. But when it's in a car and it's hanging by this and it floats around and you're in a tight compartment, yeah, not so much. So that is a lot of the reasons why I like it. I'm sure there's more and I'll go over those as we go along. But like I said, the triple locking point, awesome because it holds in all the sides. I don't like those boxes and you look at them and there's one lock up front and you know there's going to be give way back here if you were to try to pry it. And, you know, so don't want to keep rehashing everything, but I'm doing this off the cuff. I don't have a script I go by. So let's do this, guys. Let's see if it'll fit two full-size guns. This is just things I want to show you I think would be interesting, uh, things that I would like to see, um, you know, if, if I were watching a video review of this. And, yes, things are empty for the video because that's how I roll when I do my videos I want. I want things to be empty that way safety first while I'm paying attention to the camera uh, I don't have to worry about that okay so I have a full-size Glock 17 in here Gen 4 and let's just see we're gonna push it to the limit let's see if we can get another my baby another full-size Glock 17 Gen 4 in there this is the 5B Gunworks customized Glock with the overwatch precision trigger one of the best Probably, probably the best trigger I've ever used on a Glock handgun. And this is one that is in full flat dark earth uh, with the Trijicon HD night sights. Okay, so let's see if we can get two full-size Glock 17s in here and still close this baby because I would say that would be pretty good, right, for, for a small compact safe. Let's see how it goes. Okay, something's catching a little bit here. Move them around a little bit, and perfect. Right there's how they have to sit. Nothing's touching metal. Everything's padded. 
These things are these things are coated with a polymer coating, so they can't hurt your gun. There it is. Let's see if it'll lock. Locks right up. Didn't even have to. Didn't have to put no pressure on it. Didn't have to do anything. So there it is. Two full size guns. I'm anxious to see if my Desert Eagle will fit in here, and we'll have to uh, test that out. Okay, next let's see if my Sig P320 with a 21 round magazine will fit in here. If there's enough room in this box for the length of that gun with a 21 round magazine. And here we go. My SIG P320 with the Apex trigger, custom trigger, and the 21 round magazine. Yes, the mag's loaded, the gun is clear. Cleared all guns before the video. And let's see how this fits in here. And it, not only does it fit good, if I needed, I've got room to spare, as you can see there. So, let's see if it'll shut right. And it does. No pressure. It's closed all the way. I could just put the key in and lock it. So this fits in there with no problems at all. Uh, I, I love the way that everything fits in here. I think it's the perfect size. You don't want too big, and you definitely don't want something that's too small for the weight and the sturdiness and everything that this safe has. I think that it, it is probably... The perfect size. I don't think there's anything I would change on it, but I am anxious to see will it fit guns with weapon with weapons lights and how they fit, and will it fit two full size guns with weapons lights? And then we're gonna try what I've been wanting to see: will my Desert Eagle fit in here? I'm gonna be amazed if it does, but if it does, <laughs> I'm gonna be super impressed. So let's check that out. All right, guys, here's a little challenge for it. I almost forgot about this. How about a gun with a Surefire X300 and the Terran Tactical plus six base pad? Will this fit with the gun? Let's check it out and see. Surefire X300 Ultra. This is my Larry Vickers Glock 17. Love this thing. And it's got that Terran Tactical plus six base pad. Will it do it? Oh, easily. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I think that fits better than the SIG 21 round mag. And this holds 23 plus 1. So there it is with the weapons light. Let's see if she'll close. Had no doubts. Close again. No pressure. Don't have to push on it. Let's, let me just show you here. We just lock it up. There it is. It's locked. Unlocked. It's like nothing. So there it is, Surefire X300 Ultra. Now, let's see if another gun with a weapon light will fit in here with this. I'm kind of doubting it right now <laughs> because I'm thinking that it won't, that the handle won't fit because of here. Let me get my custom David Bowie, not the singer, <laughs> David Bowie the gunsmith. This is my baby right here too, another one of my babies. This is a customized M&P, Smith & Wesson M&P. 9mm uh, from David Bowie, the gunsmith. So let's see how this will go in here. Yep, and it's not going to it's not going to get it because of that X300 Ultra. Hmm. Yeah, so two guns just may not be with weapons lights may not work. Yeah, let me let me take this uh, let me take the Surefire X300 Ultra off, and then let's see what would happen if we have this here. Now would this fit? Nope, ain't no way. Not doing that. Um, I don't even think it would fit if this wasn't on there, which I'm not taking that off. I got some Loctite on that, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with that right now. But there it is. And, but it fits it fits one in there easily and you could get extra mags in here easily at least a couple extra mags if you turn them sideways like this I mean how many could you see here there's two 
Let's see if three will go. See if three will let it close. Yep. Just a little bit of pressure I gotta push. Just a little bit of pressure there. Here's the amount of force it takes to get it shut. Right here. That's it. But you can put three mags in there. You know what? May even be able to get one right here too. Yeah, that's awesome. That is really, really awesome. All right, now for the final, or for the finale, <laughs> let's see if the Desert Eagle will fit in there. All right, guys, now the moment of truth. I have not tried this off camera, so let's see if a 50 caliber Desert Eagle will fit in the safe. If so, I'm impressed. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, and it's a no-go. Yeah, there's no way, no way that it can fit in there. And it's a bit of the hammer, but mainly the beaver tail. The handle fits in there, but it's this beaver tail on the back, and the hammer would catch as well. But man, it's so close. So close. So I'd have to get one size bigger safe in order to fit this baby in there. But you know what? That's fine. That was just a test just to see if it would do it. Let's uh, give some more examples of what else you could put in there. All right, let's do a few more examples, guys, of some things we could put in there. And we'll just give it a little test. See what we got. Surefire E2D Defender. Wanted to try this just to see. This could be, you know, if you wanted to keep it out of kids' hands, because you can put these in your house. And you don't even have to lock it down to something. This could be something for if you have uh, young children in the house. This work great. Or you could use the shackle or a cable and the shackle. You could put it around a bed frame as long as it's not around the leg or a pipe. I don't know, something you could fasten around. Or like I said, just have it by the bed and have it locked in here. Child could not get in there. I was curious to see if it'll close with the pepper spray. Uh, let's just check that and see. No. Hang on. Let me see something here. Put the pepper spray in the middle. Oh yeah, closes easily. So, Surefire E2D Defender. Pepper spray right there. Let's see if it'll close. Easily. Not even no force. Okay. Throw some cash in there. G43. Spiderco knife. Will it close? Yes, a little bit of pressure there, guys, because um, I think because of this, because of the bulkiness of that holster, but yeah, barely any pressure. Here, I'll show you that it locks. Solidly locked up. Unlocks just as smooth. And we have all that in there. And, uh, yeah. So, I'll take, like, the Fox Pepper Spray out. If you didn't have Pepper Spray in there, we could put your wallet. So you could have your E2D Defender, your wallet in there. And keep in mind that you may be able to get a little bit more room if you take the 43 out of its holster. But I just wanted to leave it in there. That one's fully loaded. So, yeah. Let's see. Uh, what else could we get in there? Yeah, this is kind of high-end. This is my Surefire uh, headband light. Let's go ahead and see if we can get it to close with that. This ain't cheap. So, be something. Yeah, oh yeah. Easily. Easily. So what it is, is this foam's got a lot of give. You can see there, if you put something in the back, you got half an inch on top and probably half an inch on the bottom. So I could put all that in there. The cash, the wallet, the Spyderco knife, the E2D Defender, the Glock 43 in a holster, and the Surefire headlamp. And look, closes right down, no problems. So it's a very useful safe, guys. I really do recommend it. It just depends on what you're looking for. Nothing in the world 
when it comes to a safe is foolproof, no matter what safe it is. Um, you can get close to foolproof with a bank vault, but the, the whole situation is this. Uh, I park in a garage all night. If I'm out during the day, I'm in parking lots with cameras and other cars around me, and a thief has literally seconds when he smashes and grabs. Yeah, if I left my car out in the country somewhere on a deserted road, yeah, a thief could get in there and come back with a hammer and, you know, try to bust into this thing while it's sitting in a small compartment on the floor and he has very little room to move and try to break into it. Yeah, he could try that. Um, I think he'd still have a very hard time. But like I said, the whole goal is to make it take too much time for a thief to be able to get. And I believe this safe does that. I mean, I, I would have no problem putting my valuables in there in my car, and I would have no worries about that. So there you go, guys. That is my recommendation for a safe that viewers wanted to see. And there it is. It's a heavy sucker, too. So there you go, guys. That's the Hornady Arm Lock, if you want to look it up. H4T, hope you enjoyed that video.